Alright guys, I'm going to do a little flow hive update. First off, let's look at these bees. So we've got a lot of bees happening. They seem very happy. Now, I wanted to talk about this situation a little bit. This here um, is a pain in the ass. I take it off every time I need to use it, okay? Um, but we have to keep it on most of the time when we're not using it because it keeps this little piece intact. This is where you put in your little lever to release the honey. The reason I have to take this piece off is because it holds this in place and you cannot remove the um, door with that piece on there. So that's kind of a flaw in the design for sure. Um, so let me take this off and show you what a pain in the ass this is to take off as well um, because the bees propolize it like crazy. I'm gonna have to set the camera down, hang on a second. Okay, I got it loose. So, as you can see, it's all propolized there and all along the edge. So it's pretty much glued on there. Very difficult to get off. Now this, though, this is beautiful. They are filling up the flow hive. They just started filling it up um, probably about a week and a half ago. Um, there was nothing in here at all. Um, so what they did is when we put in the blank frames, they went through each individual cell in all of the frames and just cleaned each individual cell, propolized any um, gaps that they found in there, and then started filling it with honey. So it did take them a while to start filling it. It probably took them about, uh, I would say, at least two weeks um, until they started putting honey in it. But as you can see, they're making great progress. Um, all this is all propolized, the sealant here all propolized. Um, and up in there, you can also see they propolized all the little gaps everywhere. So they did what they needed to do, which is pretty cool. Um, we have had a little bit of a hive beetle situation happening. Uh, where Every now and then we'll see a hive beetle in these cells. We're not seeing them in there anymore. Um, they were in there when they were empty. And then every now and then when we look down in here, I haven't checked it yet today, let's see if we see any. Um, I've been finding a couple of hive beetles. Nothing today, so that's good. But we also have been having a palmetto bug situation where they live down in there. Can't see them, but I'm sure there's a couple in there. Um, so that's been kind of a battle for us. And that's not really so much of a threat to the bees as it's just a cleanliness issue. And I feel like their poop and debris could, you know, leave an opportunity for more problems. So we'd like to keep it nice and clean. Um, but so here is them filling it with honey and put the door back on and I'll show you the side window. Now, um, just as a note, I did file down, I got a bee checking me out here. Um, I did file down the sides of this, trying to make it so that when I twist it sideways, it doesn't block the door anymore. Um, I just wasn't able to uh, quite um, sand it down enough. I, I mean, I could sand it down some more. It's just something I gotta do. Go over here and make sure we're not stepping on any bees. Some people may think I'm crazy for being barefoot with shorts on, messing with the beehive, but honestly, it's fine. <laughs> uh, if, even if I do get stung, it's not that big a deal. So here we are. Let's see if we can get some good view on that. As you can see, it is full of bees, full of honey. Nothing is capped yet. Um, but they're getting close to it. So what they did with the cells is that where the flow frames, where the plastic stops on the cells, they expanded it outwards and made the cells much deeper um, using their own wax. And so they, they have built on this a lot. Um, and that's partly what took so much time as well. Um, and as you can see, flow founding supporter 2015. What, what? We got a little bunny here. Hey, sweetheart. You want some snacks? <laughs> and if I'm getting run into by bees, they're getting a little upset with me, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back inside. 
but I just wanted to kind of do a little update video on this situation. We really do love the Flow Hive. There are definitely, see this, there are definitely, um, there's definitely room for improvement on some of the design, such as this situation here. Um, this being difficult to get off is kind of a pain. I'm always afraid I'm gonna pull the whole box off the top, just trying to move that. But other than that, uh, the bees seem to take to the um, the frames, the flow frames, very well. But yeah, it does take them a little bit of time to get used to the flow frames and um, for them to clean them to their liking and adjust them and propolize them and make them all nice and clean and perfect. But um, after they do that, they do fill it very quickly, so. A little bit of a rabbit bee situation happening. Thank you guys for tuning in to today's little flow hive update video. I will be um, putting out a new video next week as we do our hive inspection. Remember to tune back in for that. Uh, please like this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you next time.